right guys i've been meaning to do this for a while and it's kind of awesome that i finally have all of my equipment inside i apologize for the mess this is basically all that you'll need for doing copper electroforming well there's some random stuff on the side over there so just ignore that as well the main things you would need to do basic electroforming would be electricity of course and this is a rectifier brand that i have is tech power and it comes with these um, cathode anode and you know you would plug this in and it has these this on and off button you can basically get um you know whatever rectifier you feel like is good for you this is another thing that we of course need this is electroforming copper solution and i get mine from rio grande rio grande i don't know how to really say it this one's a little bit more jacked up um this one's very thick and crystally so i stopped using this but you know that's my emergency stack this is another thing that i got from rio grande um, this is graphite conductive paint and this is so much better than copper conductive paint just because it really like sticks to the crystals and if you just put one coat it's good enough as compared to the copper conductive paint which basically you have to put like you have to wait till it dries and then you have to put another coat so this one is seriously my favorite conductive paint these are epoxy clay so this comes in a little set and uh you know you mix like a little bit of this a little bit of that together it's usually a ratio of one to one and this is really good for for example you know i have some little ring ring uh thingies here which i will attach to the crystal so you actually use this to attach it and it actually shapes it very beautifully oh of course the copper itself so this i got from amazon I actually forgot how thick it is, but it's pretty thick and it's nice and shiny and I use this for everything. These are some other stuff that you will need. This don't buy from Rio Grande, but I'm just letting you know that you would need a sealer of some sort. This one is water-based, so it's kind of not good for opals and things like that. So for that, I actually just use Sally Hansen clear nail polish. You could just use clear nail polish for that. This is called Protect-A-Clear. This is really good um, what sealer for, you know, if for example, if you um, use Patina on, on your work, like this one, for example, I just did. I used Patina on it, so it has a little bit of a, of a smoky, oxidized look to it. I actually seal this so that it stays like that and it doesn't get all, you know, muddy looking. <laughs> As compared to this, this is not sealed or, you know, I haven't used patent on it at all. So you can kind of see the difference. And of course, you would need some patina. Please be careful while using this. Actually, please be careful while using all of this stuff because it's pretty toxic. And of course, speaking of toxic, you would need some gloves. I just bought this from Amazon. You could also buy something like this from um, the dollar store. Just make sure that they're snug on your hands. These are a size medium and my hands are like tiny. So sculpting stuff with it is actually pretty hard because I just have like the tips kind of flopping around. That sounds weird. Anyway, you would also need a jar a glass jar of some sort. This is where you will be doing all of your electroforming. You would also need a scrubber. This is really good to just, you know, give your um, copper a nice shine too if it gets a little bit kind of gloomy looking. You would need a clip like this or, you know, those third hand things. It's just really good to kind of hold things together when you sculpt. You would also need a wire cutter for the copper, especially if you're using um, copper wire. You could also use copper plates. I've seen some people do that. And this as well, you know, it's just good to use when you make little circles like that with really thick wire. Oh yeah, and of course you would need your crystals. So I have some aura quartz here. This 
one's a Druzy. That one's an Angel Aura, I think. That's what you call it. And this one is an Aqua Aura. They're very pretty. So yeah, I'll just be making jewelry out of these. And once I'm done with it, I'm going to show you how that is.